What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be talking about the Mavic 2, which is probably no surprise, but what I want to focus on is the LEDs surrounding the drone and discuss what they mean. They're not just here to make your drone look cool or to help you spot your drone in the air, they actually have an important function and that is to give you the status of your aircraft at a quick glance. To familiarize yourself with the LEDs placed on this drone, there is one located on the end of each arm just underneath of the motors. These two in the front are known as the head LEDs and will remain the color red throughout the duration of your flight. You can choose to turn them off if you want to say take a photo and don't want that annoying red tint in the top of your frame, but I like to use them so I can quickly tell which way my drone is facing by looking up in the sky. Flipping things around, the two back LEDs are status indicators that will shine either a red, yellow, or green color, and this is where a lot of the confusion lies. Despite common knowledge about what these three colors mean in the real world, like with, say, a traffic light, it's a little bit different with drones as there's a lot of different blinking frequencies and also different color combinations. And you probably wouldn't know what the drone is trying to tell you unless you had any prior knowledge or did any prior research. Luckily, you stumbled upon this video as we'll be going through what all of the different LED status indicators mean. Starting things off here immediately after the drone has been turned on, the status LEDs will rapidly blink, alternating between red, green, and yellow. This signifies that the aircraft is turning on and is performing its own self-diagnostic tests. After this, the lights will begin blinking yellow in sets of four or blinking yellow rapidly. This signifies that the aircraft is continuing to warm up and isn't ready to take off yet. Once those status LEDs begin blinking green, then we're good to fly, but there is three different variations that we have to look out for. If the LEDs periodically blink green twice, that means that the Mavic 2 is in P mode or the standard flight mode with a GPS connection and that both the forward and downward vision systems are active. If the status LEDs instead blink green slowly, that means we are in P mode with the GPS connection, but the vision systems are not active, so that means we have no help from the surrounding sensors. Something interesting that I stumbled upon when flying my Mavic 2 Pro is that those green status LEDs on the back blink a lot faster when you're in sport mode. So instead of the double periodic blinks, it comes a lot more rapidly. And that's something I couldn't find in the manual. To wrap up what these aircraft status indicators mean in their normal states, the back tube LEDs will rapidly blink green when the drone is braking or coming to a stop during flight. Now this brings us to the second part of our video where we'll be discussing the warning states of the status indicators. In the beginning, we went over what's called the normal states, and I'm not going to say that those aren't important, but the second half is definitely a little bit more important as you'll be able to figure out if something is wrong with your drone by looking at the status LEDs. First up is a quick yellow blink on the back status LEDs. This signifies that the aircraft has lost connection to the remote controller, and I've simulated this by simply turning on the drone and leaving the remote controller off. Next up is a slow red blink, which signifies low battery. This can actually be modified from right within the DJI GO app, so whatever percentage you have set as your low battery warning will thus make the back status LEDs blink red. Next, we have a quick red blink that signifies critically low battery. So this is when the drone lands itself, if it's up in the air, or when the drone will restrict you from taking off because the battery is too low. Now, as if things couldn't get any more confusing, a regular speed red blink on the back status LEDs indicates an IMU error. Now, I couldn't simulate this, and I couldn't show you guys what this looks like, as both of my Mavic 2s don't have IMU errors. But just remember, a regular speed red flash indicates that you've got an IMU error. And you can always check the DJI GO application for more information. Another scenario that I wasn't able to replicate perfectly but was able to take from a screenshot is the solid red LED which signifies a critical error. It will essentially look like the two head LEDs except on the back two legs instead of the front. Now these critical errors can be a range of different things like a motor failure or some sort of ESC error which I've had before but basically if you have solid red LEDs all the way around your drone is not going to be able to fly and you've got to check the DJI GO application to really find out what's wrong. The final status LED state that we need to know is when they alternate between red and yellow quickly, which essentially signifies that the compass needs to be calibrated. I find it really weird, but my Mavic 2 Pro has required me to calibrate the compass before every single flight, which is easy to do, but it is quite annoying. Just to sort of wrap things up here and do a quick review, here's a screenshot of the manual for the Mavic 2, which I'm going to leave linked down below, but it's nice to have this on your mobile device as a cheat sheet if you ever need it down the road. I'd also highly advise flipping through the manual for just a few minutes as you can find some pretty valuable information in there. 
So while all the different reds and all the different colors and different blinking sequences might be a little bit confusing, it's always nice to know these as down the road you can take a quick glance at your drone and know what's going on. You can always use the DJ Go app if you wanted to to check the status of your drone and also maybe get a more in-depth look at what's going on with its internals. But nothing beats just being able to look right at your drone and know what's going on by looking at the LEDs, especially once you turn the drone on and you don't have your remote controller turned on yet. But guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and above all, I hope that you learned something. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.